M most people call me John Charles. I'm 84. My last name is Bryant, B-R-Y-A-N-T. Our family built the first black church in South Bend, and it was called Olivet AME, which is African Methodist Episcopal. The church still bears the same name, but it is now located in a different location and building. The original cornerstone is located out front along with a historical marker. But it's at 719 Notre Dame Avenue. The old church would be at 310 West Monroe. My mother was a church organist for 40 years. And my mother passed away when, when I was 12 years old. So I wasn't able to ask as many questions as I would now. My mother's name was Georgia Ward Bryant. John Charles' mother, Georgia, was a descendant of the Powell family, one of the first black families to settle in the Michiana area. The Powells were, were very industrious people. They were very wholesome people. They were honest, they were dependable, their word was their bond. And he says they are very proud of their accomplishments. We're a very proud family. Farrell Powell had 17 children. Farrell Powell was one of the most significant African Americans in St. Joseph County. He was a wealthy landowner, bought a lot of property in and around South Bend. And the Powell family, they were really at the center of the black community in South Bend for decades. We are in City Cemetery in South Bend. And this part of the cemetery is where numerous members of the Powell family are buried. Peter DeKeever has done a lot of research on the Powell family. And I would say he's done more research than some of the Powell members even did. The Powell family, their history of Mishawaka really begins when Elijah Powell comes to Mishawaka with his wife and their daughter about 1868. And Elijah, his significance really kind of predates that in the sense that he had been a soldier in a colored infantry regiment during the Civil War. So he ties into that history of the colored troops fighting for the Union during the Civil War. But he returns from the war, gets married, and he and his wife, they have one daughter who's born in South Bend. Her name is Medora Powell. Medora was way ahead of her time. She goes down in history as the first black graduate of Mishawaka High School. She was from the class of 1887, and she is one of the earliest black graduates from a high school in Northern Indiana. I would have loved to have known her because the relatives that did know her spoke so well about her. And we do have um, a nice artifact that is on display from Medora. Uh, it's the commencement program for her graduation in 1887. The artifact is one of many in the Powell family display case inside the Heritage Room at the downtown Mishawaka Penn Harris Public Library. Uh, Medora Powell taught school of a brown school in Cassopolis and um, was well thought of in the community. Uh, but Medora was just a very impressive individual and she grew up here in Mishawaka. This is Fairview Cemetery on the north side of Mishawaka. There are several uh, siblings who are children of Elijah and Mary Ann Powell uh, who are buried here. Uh, Medora was the oldest of Elijah and Mary Ann's children. This is looking at the house on Cedar Street. The Powell family house still stands at 109 South Cedar in Mishawaka. And they were really at the center of the black community in Mishawaka for decades. Elijah was a barber in Mishawaka from 1868 until his death in 1906. Elijah and Mary Ann Powell had 14 children. The Powells did very well in this community. Uh, when I say this community in Michiana. Another one of Elijah's sons is Raymond Powell. He was the second black graduate of Mishawaka High School, class of 1908. Raymond Sr. was a dentist, and he went to, he, he worked in Chicago. Graduated from Fisk University in Nashville, Tennessee, 
than the Northwestern School of Dentistry, and he is considered one of the pioneers of the black pioneers of dentistry in Chicago, and he died in the 1970s. So it's just a very accomplished family uh, that we're proud to have as part of our history. Uh, there are other significant Powell family members. Otto is kind of interesting and significant because he was a barber in Mishawaka for more than 60 years. So he would have known all kinds of people in the city of Mishawaka in his capacity as a barber. Um, so he's significant in that sense that he represents the beginnings of the black community in Mishawaka. We've got 87 descendants, maybe more now. But if I put out a plea that I need $400 for wreaths, everybody comes together. We went and decorated the graves. We did 30 graves with putting wreaths out on the graves of people in Mishawaka, South Bend. I feel very honored in doing it. This year we did whirly birds. This one still remains next to his mom and dad's grave site where he placed it back in the summer of 2021. The whirly birds are working and you're not even there on a windy day. That's really sort of my identity of feeling close with the family. The countless trips to the cemeteries he cherished have now come to an end. John Charles died less than a month after this interview on January 3rd, 2022. John was the family historian and he did so much to promote the history of blacks in South Bend and Mishawaka uh, for decades. Uh, he was kind of the, uh, the last remaining member of the Powell family who actually resided in South Bend. And he took that responsibility very seriously. He would work with the local museums. He would promote family reunions, other gatherings in uh, South Bend and Mishawaka, and was very instrumental of getting Elijah's military papers donated to the library. He had been with the Powell family away from Mishawaka for decades. So we we're very fortunate that that donation was made and John was the one who really convinced the descendants of Elijah Powell to make that donation. And he was very encouraging toward any efforts to uh, promote the history of the Powells in Mishawaka and South Bend. And he also took very seriously uh, the care of family graves. His loss uh, to our community is uh, something we still feel and we regret uh, his passing. We're also very fortunate that John was able to do so much to promote the history uh, of black people in our community, the history of Mishawaka and South Bend. And so I think just at all kinds of levels, the Powells uh, are really good for people to understand. And especially as our, our population in Mishawaka becomes more racially diverse, our black population has grown quite a bit in the last 10 to 20 years. And it reminds us of the beginnings of that black community in Mishawaka with the Powell family.